hey guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new to this channel my name is erica and i create beauty videos hair videos as well as lifestyle videos you guys so if any of those things interest you definitely consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that subscribe button down below for me also hit that notification bell and make sure you click all to see my future uploads so today we are going to be recreating a look i've done like three years ago probably like 2019 i'm thinking 20 maybe 2017 i don't know probably about four years ago so i thought this was really really cute and i never filmed this look ever i never even like did like an instagram video for it and i thought it was right on time for valentine's day this is so cute and it's like a half cut crease it has like the purple reddish tones for valentine's so if you want to see how i got this look then definitely stay tuned <laughs> All right, you guys, so I'm going to be using the Morphe Jewel, uh, I believe it's the Jewel 3C palette. Everything will be down below in the description box, but I'm taking this orange shade and we're going to be placing that um, slightly above the crease. If you've been here before, you know I like to start right above the crease and we're just going to be applying the color as well as blending it a little bit and you want to apply the color um, to your liking um, you apply as much as you like or as little as you like and yeah we're just going to be blending and then I'm going in with this um, drugstore eyeshadow y'all this eyeshadow palette is really great for the price uh, I believe it's called like poison apple apple but I'm taking like this dark uh, burgundy shade Got a little bit more hints about that purpley but it's like a burgundy shade and I'm placing that literally slightly under that orange shade and we're literally going to be building up our crease area and I also like to go back and forth between the orange and the burgundy shade just to make sure the blend is seamless okay we don't want this thing to be detectable so I'm going in with a darker burgundy shade and we're going to be deepening our crease so so far we are using three shades So all I'm doing is going back and forth with my fluffier brush with that orange and that burgundy shade again to just create a seamless blend. As you can see, the blend is there like it looks so good. So next I'm taking this LA Pro Concealer. I cannot remember the shade at this moment. I think it's beige. Maybe it's beige. Maybe a little lighter than beige. But I'm taking that and we're going to be slightly cutting the crease. Y'all, I have not done a cut crease in forever. Like, I literally was like, dang. It's been so long. I feel like I just could not do it. But I love doing a little trick where you look up and it literally creates the um, cut crease for you. So, I'm doing that and then I'm going to be taking... I'm trying to remember. I'm going to be going back in with the burgundy shade. Um on the outer portion of the eye just to get some color there so everything will be nice and sleek, seamless um, and you'll have like a really really nice blend um, but yeah and then I'm gonna go in I, yeah I'm trying to remember I think I'm going in my um, Morphe my Morphe 35R palette yep and I'm going to be placing that shade on our lid and that's going to be our lid color. And y'all, this is literally the eyeshadow look like. I feel like it's so simple. It's so cute. It screams Valentine's. But yeah, enjoy the video. <laughs> <laughs> 